Item number SCP-2958 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All discovered instances of SCP-2958-1 are to be closed off from public use under the pretense of construction. As removal of the roundabout of SCP-2958-1 instances have proven to successfully neutralize their effects, all discovered instances are to be removed through the use of industrial cranes. Direct contact with an SCP-2958-1 instance is to be avoided at all times during its removal. Once removed, a non-anomalous roundabout is to be constructed in its place. Description SCP-2958 is a phenomenon affecting B percent of roundabout islands. A modern roundabout featuring a central island containing plant life and their surrounding roads throughout northeast England. Individual instances henceforth referred to as SCP-2958-1. While the roundabout of an SCP-2958-1 instance is uninhibited, persons entering its area of effect will experience hallucinations specifically affecting their perception of the surrounding location and any vehicles present. Subjects will perceive the roundabout as a desert island of varying size and shape, while the surrounding road and area beyond will appear as an expansive ocean. Vehicles present will appear as boats, varying in model and size. Note, parents is strongly influenced by the vehicle's build, model, and color. The initial range of scp 2958 one's numbers effects will decrease several minutes after a person has traversed onto the instance roundabout, becoming perceptible only by those located on it. scp 2958 one's Secondary anomalous effects will then activate. Full anomalous properties will not return until all subjects located on the roundabout island have left the initial area of effect. Subjects located on the roundabout will perceive any vehicles on the surrounding road to take on the appearance of some form of large ocean life swimming through the hallucinated ocean matching the movement and speed of the actual vehicle. Similarly to the initial effects, the perceived ocean life will be heavily based on the actual vehicle's size and build. Notable instances of ocean life witnessed have included leatherback turtles, bottlenose dolphins, giant oceanic manta rays, and bullhead whales. This effect does not target vehicles previously driven by subjects, which will instead be perceived as a wrecked boat. Subjects will continue to hallucinate as long as they remain within SCP-2958-1 and will begin to experience physical effects causing their bodies to react as if they were actually located in the perceived environment. For a full list of reported effects, see document 2958-A. Subjects will continue to experience these effects after several hours after leaving SCP-2958-1. Discovery Log The first reported instance of SCP-2958 was found in Beep, Northeast England, in 20 Beep. The instance had come to the Foundation's attention after discovering reports of a mass collision surrounding a local roundabout. Incident Report Investigation showed five people to have originally crashed onto the roundabout of SCP-2958-1 during a multi-vehicle collision, severely injuring several involved. Affected subjects refused to leave the roundabout island upon reportedly witnessing all surrounding vehicles to be instances of great white sharks. After an ambulance arrived at the scene, SCP-2958-1 secondary effects activated. This led to severe panic among subjects at the sight of what was later described as seeing the paramedics emerging from a large gash across one of the sharks, appearing severely mutilated with large sections of their bodies torn off via bite marks, resembling a shark's 
Upon making contact with the roundabout, paramedics were suddenly altered to match their perceived appearance and expired. Foundation personnel arrived at scene shortly after the anomalous properties of SCP-2958-1 had become apparent. Once at the location, SCP-2958-1 and the surrounding area was closed off, while personnel attempted to recover subjects taking precaution not to make contact with roundabout, personnel were unable to convince subjects to leave the island and were forced to use tranquilizers and long-range grappling equipment to remove them. During this time, one subject left the island in order to evade capture. This led to the effects of SCP-2958-1 road activating, causing the subject to immediately become drenched in water and float several inches above the road. The subject continued to flee until they were hit by an oncoming car outside of SCP-2958-1's location. The subject was found injured but stable and appeared to have a large bite mark where they had been hit. Upon recovery, bodily examination showed all subjects to be suffering from severe sunburns and dehydration. Subjects' clothes were found to contain traces of sand and salt water. All subjects fully recovered and all those involved in the event were given Class A amnestic treatment.